Pete, I'm hearing uh, Cato talk about this SRM thing, Site Recovery Manager and with vSAN. Um, how does it work? What is it? What are, what are the benefits? How should I configure it? Yeah, so the good news, John, here in all of this is that, you know, when you're thinking about using uh, SRM or Site Recovery Manager, which is our DR uh, orchestration tool, um, if, you're, if you're considering using that in a vSAN environment, that is very similar to using it in your uh, traditional vSphere environment with those vSphere clusters. Uh, you, for vSAN, we'll be using vSphere replication as the uh, transport engine to replicate the data from the vSAN cluster over to the DR site. Uh, and then, of course, SRM is going to uh, provide all of the orchestration intelligence to do the failover and the failback and so forth. Uh, so that's going to offer you, you know, a lot of simplicity in terms of you're going to be using the tools that you already know, uh, and you can implement it just in the very same way that you've done it in the past. So it sounds like I get my my bubble networks, my boot orders, all that that stuff I know and love. I, it's just using vSphere replication, so I've got that WAN efficient compression, lightweight delta based replication. Um, I guess one last thing, what if I, what if one of my environments is vSAN and I want to replicate to or from it with vSphere replication SRM, is, is that going to work? Yeah. So that's going to, uh, the, you, you will be able to migrate that data over to it because it's failing over to another site and it's somewhat autonomous uh, to the site that it came from in the first place. That's sort of the beauty of, of having site recovery manager there in the first place. So, you know, think of it even in uh, terms of you could have it uh, coming from a, a traditional vSAN cluster, a, a stretched vSAN cluster or, or multiple vSAN clusters and have a target location that does not necessarily mimic that exact same uh, architecture. So different storage types, different vSAN topologies all supported here. I like that stretch cluster example because, yeah, do a, a stretch cluster for near-near active-active availability and then replicate somewhere really boring, you know, um, like Phoenix. Nothing bad happens in Phoenix. Let's, <laughs> let's have that be our, our, our true, like, DR site that's far away. So um, I like this idea. This is good. Yeah.